With that crucial Pennsylvania Senate race recount as we speak, critical work is being done right now in Northeast Philadelphia and counties across the Commonwealth to determine the winner of this tightly contested race. Roughly 17,000 votes separated Republican Dave McCormick and Democratic incumbent Bob Casey. That slim margin, as we've told you, triggered this automatic recount. Action News' Maggie Kent joins us live from the Ballot Counting Center with the latest. Maggie. Yeah, so ballots are being recounted right here in Philadelphia and all across the Commonwealth as McCormick bested Casey by just 0.24 percentage points, as you mentioned, launching this statewide necessary recount. The recount has begun. At 8 a.m., the ballot counting machines at the elections warehouse in Northeast Philadelphia were fired up. We are doing an extra check this time because of the closeness of the race for U.S. Senate by conducting a recount. With a margin of just under 17,000 votes separating incumbent Democrat Bob Casey and Republican challenger Dave McCormick, a state mandated recount is now underway. A reminder to select your choice throughout the entire ballot. 36,604 Philadelphians chose to undervote the race. They just skipped over it and didn't have their opinion counted. The Associated Press called the race for Dave McCormick last week, but Bob Casey is yet to concede as scenes like these play out across the Commonwealth. One type of ballot that won't be counted, a mail-in vote with no date or an incorrect date on the outer envelope. The state Supreme Court ruled Monday those ballots should not count, though some county commissioners disagree. We know we got a mail ballot in time. That therefore makes that date written on that envelope immaterial. The Supreme Court ruled for this election that these ballots cannot be counted, so the board last night voted unanimously to not count those ballots for this election. 607 ballots fall into that category in Philadelphia County. And as we mentioned, these recounts are happening across the Commonwealth. Bucks and Montgomery County hoping to have their recounts done by the end of this week. Philadelphia will announce the recount results on Monday. We're live in Northeast Philadelphia. Maggie Kent, Channel 6 Action News. Sarah. If we wait till Monday then, Maggie, thank you. Thank